How's it going guys? Kiko here and I have finally decided to show you my Boom Beach base, my Boom Beach account. So here I am, level 36. Um, I've been playing it for a couple of months now and I know it was released just by the end of, before the end of March, but I used to play it by using a Canadian account because it, it was available just in Canada. I guess they were just testing the game in, in there to see if the people would like it but now it's available in every country so you can go ahead into the app store and download it it's a really good game it's uh, made by the developer of Clash of Clans but I guess most of you probably already knew that so I'm gonna try to explain this game very very briefly so it's it's uh, the concept of the game is very similar to Samurai Siege and Clash of Clans. It's a strategy game where you have your base, you try to protect it, and you attack other players as well as single player missions to go ahead in the game. Instead of trophies and honor in Clash of Clans and Samurai Siege, in this one you get victory points. And the more you have, the higher in the league you are. So, uh, unlike Clash of Clans and Samurai Siege, this is not really a team player game because you are on your own. You don't have a clan, you don't have anything. So, yeah, that's, I guess, it's a, it's not a very good thing. But they might develop this in the future and they might include it in the game later on. Because it, the social aspect of any game, it's it's very important, in my opinion. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good to, to have teammates and, you know, play with them so yeah that's basically it here's my base my headquarters are level 13 I try to keep my defense well upgraded and if you are just starting the game make sure you upgrade them well before you upgrade your headquarters that's very important so in order for someone to get all your resources they have to destroy your headquarters so that's a must win thing if because once your headquarters is destroyed uh, you lose the battle and your opponent wins it of course so try that's why my headquarters is very at the back <clears throat> so i can protect it because once you destroy it all your buildings blow up and if if someone destroys your your goats your storages your wood storage gold storage etc they can't get any resources unless they destroy your headquarters that's it. So in order to get resources, you have to win the battle, you have to destroy the headquarters. So yep, yeah, that's it. And <clears throat> um, your your base is actually on an island, on a small island, and you attack other players who are on their own island as well by using boats. You deploy your tr troops by sea, uh, by boats, and you've got one one big boat which is called gunboat where you can use missiles and other cool stuff to attack the other players i'll show you in a minute so uh, once you get to the map you see uh, you've got all these uh, islands around with uh, real players and single player battles as well so the difference is this big one big red circle shaped as a human that's a real player and you can also attack single players it's the one here the small one and it that number there 24 that's the level of the single player mission and you also have these uh, resource bases where once you you have them they start uh, delivering your resources delivering resources to your base whether if it's wood stone iron and other stuff and also the free villages, they, they also give you some gold. You see, it's 50 or uh, 54 gold per hour per village. So that's very good passive income. Make sure to have as many resource bases as you as you can. You can see I've, I've got quite a lot in my map. And all these white clouds, you uh, unlock them as you go further in the game. You have to upgrade your radar, which is this building right here. Once you upgraded it, you have access to these uh, to these clouds and you can unlock them by using gold so that's basically it guys for this uh, this game 
So if you have any questions, you can post them down below. So now I'm going to try to find a, a good base to attack and to show you how the way to attack, the way I attack. attack. So here I've got uh, different players. I'm going to choose the lowest level one. It's 31. So first, before you attack, before you press that button, attack, which is going to which going to take from your 5,800 gold. You can go and scout that base, see the way it looks, and see for yourself if you can manage to destroy it. So by the looks of it, this base it's it's gonna be okay for my army. If you see my troops available right down there, I've got these uh, big guys. These are called heavies. They are very good tanks, but they don't do much damage. That's why I've got 14 of these uh, girls there. They're called Zuka. And they do massive damage, but they haven't got much health. So it's obvious, it's very simple attack strategy. You just deploy your heavies first to start to destroy the defenses. And then your Zookas at the back to do some damage and destroy the buildings. So I'm going to go ahead and attack the, this base. That's going to be uh, just a demonstration. Did I press? Oh, there we go. That's going to be a demonstration attack. And you can see all these things on the right bottom side. I've got these rockets. I've got one one rocket or missile. I've got these medical kits, this lightning thing. So what they do is, this with the three rockets, it, it just it fires up a series of rockets. Yeah, rockets here, see now. There you go. The bottom one, it fires just one, but they do a massive amount of damage. I'm gonna use this now. And these are not unlimited, you can't use them all the time. You can see you've got this firepower on the, on the right bottom side, which is says 30. And every time you, you deploy one of these, it, the next time you want to deploy it, it takes a bit more of firepower. So I've destroyed one of uh, one of the cannons, one of the big cannons. I'm gonna try to destroy this uh, here rocket launcher because they've got they're quite uh, good damage and it's just not good for my army so I'm gonna destroy it the rocket launcher and now I'm gonna go ahead <coughs> start deploying my troops first with the heavies and then my zookas and let's see how it goes so you can see the heavies, they don't do much damage, but they can take a lot of damage. So their main function in this attack is to destroy the defenses while my Zookas do the damage. So I can deploy now uh, one medic kit to heal them. And this lightning thing, it frees the defenses so they, they can't attack me for like four or five seconds. And every time you destroy a building, you, you see you get some more of this firepower and you can use more of your spells, if, if I can call them like this. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure if I can destroy this base. I might fail, guys, but you get the idea the way to attack. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna fail. <laughs> That's inevitable. So I guess this base was too difficult for me. But you get the idea and once you click retreat your troops going back. And unlike uh, unlike Clash of Clans and uh, Samurai Siege, the deployed troops do get back to your base if they survive. You don't lose them. So that's going to be it for this video guys, because it is quite long, I can't cover everything, I'll try to do a series of videos and, and just teach you different things if you don't already know them. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions about this game or anything at all, just post them down below and I'll try to answer them. 
Other than that, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.